morning everyone. It's day two here from Hurghada in Egypt. We just woke up at 7 a.m. because today we're going to be doing a boat tour. So the tour is going to be to that island there. You just about see it in the distance right there. And we're going to be paying $27. We paid online at a company called Vieta. They're, they're a company that seem to have like tours in many different countries. We did ask here in the hotel, but they were charging us like $42, $43 here. And online it was only $27. So yeah, obviously we just paid for it online. So yeah, right now we're just going to have breakfast and then we'll be heading there. So it turns out that the boat tour is from the marina that we came to yesterday. So we're going to be leaving from here. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> Thank you. Don't worry, be happy, Carol. So, so the name of our boat is Harmony. Name your guide, it's Aladdin and Sayyid and Haram. Okay, and name our group also, it will be Aladdin. So it turns out on this tour, we get to do the banana boat here. Or a sofa. Sofa or banana boat. What? Something down there. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to do the banana boat? No, it's too cold. <laughs> yeah, it needs to warm wind, up, right? The wind is very cold. <laughs> Man, the water looks beautiful there though. Super clear. So this is going to be our first time trying out the sofa one, the floaty sofa. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. cold now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just the cold wind isn't it? Yeah. In the sun it's okay though. Yeah the sun is very strong actually but the wind that's the problem. Yeah. So next we're gonna do snorkeling. Can tell it's gonna be amazing as well because look how clear the water is here. Even nicer than the water that we saw around the resort. You read that it's one of the biggest uh, coral reefs of the world right? Yeah it is. Be a very good yep, let's see. Where is the fish? Some really good snorkeling. Loads of fish in there. Even from the boat, you can see them already. 
fish all over. The moment you jumped in, just surrounded by fish. Yeah, it's amazing. And the corals are very like, large and there are many different species of fish. It's very beautiful. Yeah, cold. yeah it's just cold. <laughs> the guys on the boat were saying this is unusual, that it's this cold uh, this time of the year. In the morning it was like uh, 11 degrees Celsius, 11 degrees. But next week it's going to be like in the 30s, 30 degrees. Right now it's around uh, 20 degrees, I think. So, yeah, it's not like super warm. So we've now arrived at the main stop of the trip, which is a spot called Orange Bay. And it just looks absolutely incredible here. So I'm not sure what the entire island name is, but look at that, like some desert island. Water looks incredible, both sides. Yeah, I really didn't know Egypt had places like this. Well, we're gonna be able to hang out on these beaches here. Oh, how cool is this? Yeah, it's epic. I, I couldn't, I, I never thought, like you said, Egypt has a place like this. And even when we booked this trip, we knew, we knew it would be beautiful, but this is something else. Yeah, we hadn't really seen pictures, right, of where no, we were going. No. It's very nice, the structure of the place. Yeah, it's like some light wooden structure kind of combines with the desert landscape. Yeah. for shisha if you want to smoke shisha okay. oh shisha i want you want to do shisha yeah but no 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 yeah they got all these shisha places here yeah it's really cool how they built this place got the bar there loads of uh bean bags it looks like so you can take one and the same no problem please everybody is 320 you must be here 320 here. Here or here? Yeah. No, here, here, here. In this place. Okay. Here. Here. Yeah, the beanbag. <laughs> so it's cool because you can just put your beanbags wherever you want on the beach in the sun. And there's no wind. Yeah, there's no wind here, so it's like really nice weather now. What a view. Yeah, more places should do beanbags. Way more comfortable than the plastic. What is it? Plastic sunbeds. Yeah, this is comfortable. Like a good bed. Soft. Yeah, and the cool thing is, he said we've got uh, three hours, right? Yeah. So we've got ages now. Yeah, it's a very good time to enjoy. Man, even out here they have uh, cats. <laughs> There's cats everywhere in Egypt. Yeah, we usually find beach dogs, but now we found a beach cat. <laughs> yeah, now there's beach cats. I think that might be the first time I've ever seen a cat on a beach, <laughs> ever. Carol's gonna sleep for the next three hours? <laughs> no. No? Just a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, so this isn't the only spot that you can visit. There's another popular part. I think it's called uh, Paradise Beach. I think that's just further around the corner. But I'm guessing there must be other areas you can go to on the boat tours because the island's so big. And there's actually a few islands. So I think if we had more time, we'd go to the other one as well, right? Paradise. Yeah. On another day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it's like this, it's better than stay at the, the, the resort. Oh yeah, this doesn't Way compare, better, right? Yeah. And even on the mainland, but I haven't seen any beaches that look that incredible no. yet. No, we saw one, the public one, but it didn't look very inviting. No. So this is 
like uh, uh, something else is way better. Yeah, this is another level. Really relaxed as well. I'm glad. I'm glad that they're not playing like loud music or anything. So you see loads and loads of boats arriving, but it just doesn't seem to really get that busy at all. I guess it must be a huge area because yeah, there's just loads of empty bean bags everywhere. I wonder what that is up there, Carol. You think it's like a restaurant or something? Yeah, it might be, or like, I don't know, a beach bar, beach club, I don't know. Yeah, I can't tell. One thing I forgot to mention in the last video is that there's no drones allowed here. Not only this beach, in Egypt overall, you can't even bring a drone into the country. So we left our drone in Portugal before we came here. So yeah, that's been like a recurring theme, right? In the last few videos, like Patagonia, Iceland here, can't really fly the drone in many places anymore. So they also have uh, kayak rentals here, which obviously won't be included in the tour. I think they even have a stand-up paddle. Guys doing a stand-up paddle out there. I didn't mention before about the food, so we did eat before we came here, I just didn't really film it properly. The food was actually pretty basic, nothing really too special. Oh, they also got those swings as well, like you see in Mexico. Well, you start seeing those everywhere now. I think every popular beach puts those swing things now, right? Yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Well, it really is beautiful here though. I love that desert backdrop. So now we're at the far corner of the beach. So this side is completely empty. Nobody really here at all. And they have these swings there. Yeah, this part is more like uh, natural. No bean bags around here. So it's definitely an amazing tour for twenty-seven dollars. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's a very good deal. Yeah, awesome deal. Pretty good view from out here. So that's the mainland where we came from over there. Really doesn't look that far at all. The boat does go quite slow though. So now we come to the area of the beach that's on the opposite side of the pier from what we're on. So it's a tiny little beach on this side. The backdrop's cooler though, because you got like the, the big cliff straight away. And then even down the coast over there, there's just some empty beaches, empty desert beaches, two of them. Man, so this side's looking even more beautiful right now. I don't know if it's the position of the sun or something. Wow. Carol's come here because she wants the Instagram photo. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Your foot sinks into the sand here, right? Yeah. Almost like mud. Yeah, it is like muddy ground. These are the secret beaches then. Yeah, it really, it really is like mud here. Look at that. Is it good for the skin? <laughs> I don't know, put it on your face. <laughs> it's like clay or something.
So it turns out that you can't come to the secret beach. The security guard came and told us to leave. Some other people around there as well. So he's going after them now. Off limits. Ah, so if we came along the beach, no entry. But we didn't come across here, we, we came from over there, so we didn't see the sign. <laughs> So I just got this big bottle of beer here, Stella, Egyptian beer, since 1897. And I paid around a hundred Egyptian pound for that. I think that's around five dollars. Uh, Kyle said I got ripped off. Yeah, of course. I was probably supposed to haggle, right? Yeah. And if the Egyptian guys uh, close to us, they were kind of laughing. laughing <laughs> because they knew, they probably knew, but you just paid it, so yeah. yeah. Expensive, the most expensive beer we've ever had. So our time's pretty much up with the tour. We're just climbing up that big wooden thing now to see what's up here. I think it's just hangout spots, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Just like places for pictures and stuff. Yeah, pictures, places to chill out, sit down. Hey, you do get some pretty nice views from up here though. Yeah, great place to visit. Definitely visit this place if you come to Hulgada here in Egypt. Definitely worth it. So that's gonna be it for this video. I'm just on the balcony of our hotel. Really enjoyed Urgada. Could easily spend way more days here. There's a lot more to, to see here, but tomorrow we're gonna be heading inland and we're gonna start seeing the ancient Egyptian things. So really looking forward to that. That's the main reason why we came here to Egypt. So if you like this video, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this one. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.